Hi guys, welcome to episode 3 of Game with Dancers. Tonight we have Starkey with us. Uh, he's going to be running through his life as a dancer, and he's going to whoop my ass at Street Fighter. He's offered me 100 bits for every time I beat him, he's that confident. Uh, I'm more of a Tekken player, this is my first time playing, so don't diss him too much. Starkey, how are you? Thank you, bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, bro. Are you ready to get your ass whooped? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. how did you start dance? Tell me about it. Yeah. And she was like dancing on stage and all of this sort of thing and they was doing some madness like they was making like an aeroplane all of this. You know like the crew's old diversity type stuff made the pinballs and all of the pinballs down them sort of dance routines. Yeah. And it was like, I was like, wow, like, I just, I wanted to do it and low key I like, with my background and all of that, and none of my friends was into that sort of thing. So like, on the down low I was like, go home and be like, yeah, I want to do that, like, dry it on the floor, just be able to like, do the waves stuff like that. So it's probably a cheesy approach to it at the beginning, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's how I just thought it started. That's sick, man. It's good to hear someone do that. Uh, a lot of the other guys said, like, um, a lot of people said they're like, watch the uh, step ups and street dances and stuff like that. Oh, uh, that come after. See, I watched them, but it was like, I wasn't, it's like that moment in the club, it kicked. But before that, I just, I don't know, it's like blind for me, I wasn't seeing it. Yeah. No, 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 I'm still here, I'm still good. Robbie, thank you. That is a one year anniversary of subs, bro. That means you've been a one year of being an absolute legend for my channel. I thank you, bro. Um, you're not going to perfect me in the first time. Not a chance, not a chance. All right, all right. Jesus. Would you hold him back in the practice stage as well? <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Man, she's so quick, isn't she? Right. Uh, yeah, check that. Look at that, some mad shit. <laughs> Big German suplex. Oh shit. Oh, she's got ham. <laughs> Man, crazy. That's some crazy. That's next level shit. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that. So, obviously you're a very... Uh, got a lot of styles under your belt. What's the kind of like your favourite style? Because, um, like, I've seen you battling a lot of styles. I've seen you uh, battling break. I've seen you battling crump. <laughs> you know, I've seen you go ham a lot. I think um, one really good thing about you is you've got like an amazing character that you can kind of like transform into when you dance. I appreciate that. Yeah. How do you find that character? Um, for me, like, it's a part of our, our training regime, to be honest. Like, especially with people like Lisa, I'm a best friend, and that shout out Lisa. He's here watching the stream right now, bro. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh,
a factor of it. That's why, like you said, I enjoy many styles of dance because it opens up different layers of movement for me. Yeah, of course. Like, the, the Palabore is like so many, it's like a universal move, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like that on its own thing. So yeah, man. for sure. I let you concentrate. I let you, I let you hold back for the next lesson. Oh, no, no, bro. I'm good, I'm good. You keep, you keep cutting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking skipped over Duke and everything. Let's go, bro. Have I just found my character? You found your character. You found him. Hundred bits coming my way. Hundred bits. Let's go. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I don't care. I'm, half bits, I'm halfway there. You're halfway there. You gotta start running now. Start sprinting. <laughs> this is my comeback. Oh shit! I did not want to get hit with that. Oh no! Ah! Uh. <laughs> See how hype I got my first, my first little pop. I should have done fifty for each round. That. Oh no! You got to do good. Oh shit. Oh, you're, you're, uh, Yo! That's like time is going on. Oh, you fucking fool. Oh shit. Let's go. Oh no, it got me last second, didn't it? Shit. <laughs> Let's go. Man, that's crazy. Better, that's crazy. So, you were obviously, uh, when I first met you, you were uh, part of Kazar, who was a, uh, they were friggin' awesome. Uh, really powerful group. Um, how did you guys get into with those? Yeah. And then she, she showed me uh, Kaiser, and she actually came to the first class I went to. I went to the uh, Open Street Dance class, it was like an over 18 one. Yeah. And then I, I went to this with her, and I think uh, her name was Sophie and Jamie. Jamie Spinks. And yeah, we went to the street dance class, and then, I don't know, after that I grew a pair, and I sort of started going by myself, and then it just grew from there, and meet some amazing people. Obviously, Nad. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nad, he, he did a lot for me, man. He actually, like, all them sides, so he changed my life, man. He did a lot, he made, he got me on the right path to actually be able to find the skill in myself that I not just make myself feel good, but make others feel good as well, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just helping me, helping others, and like, yeah. Definitely, yeah, Matt, Dwayne, Corinne, Izzy, all of them, they did a, a lot in the teaching aspect for me in that department. And they were a really strong crew as well. What's the kind of biggest thing that you guys won, minus jump off? Because we'll get into that in a second. Uh, uh, to be fair, like, Kato, I, I feel like we won a lot that we entered sort of thing. Obviously, we lost a lot of things as well. But the majority of the stuff, I think, if I was to say the best stuff, I don't know, bro. I just, because obviously Kato is not around no more and stuff like that, I appreciate just all the little things we did. Like the SOS performances, just like, you know, like shows. Yeah. Even, like, it's not even about what we want, because obviously we want UDO, we want stuff like that. Obviously, 
Obviously, I was a part of a crew called Kalik at Kaiser. Yeah. And we had yeah, put one that was like a popping animation crew. That's so, it. Yeah, I we started to dabble with popping and animation. And obviously, Nadali was a B boy. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. So it was great to be around all Universal dancers where they would play with other stuff. Lethem, that characteristic wise, he, he was a big help on my character as well. Yeah. When it comes to characteristics in Kaiser and all that, yeah. For real. Like, I hold a lot dear to me with Kazar, um, because, I mean, how long ago is it that we battled you guys, uh, Jump Off? What's that, sorry, bro? How long ago is it we battled at uh, Jump Off? Oh, man, what, what? Like six, I, seven I, I years ago? I don't ago? want to say, I don't want to say it's been so long. It, it's been a good, like, six, seven years, I think. Maybe five. Um, it's been time. And like, we was just up and coming then, uh, Master Mischief as a crew, is like, that's our first crew battle together, and like, you know, I was very, cause I, like you, I got into dancing quite late in my life, I was like 22 when I first started, um, so I was still like dealing with confidence issues myself, um, I started commercial wise and then went from there to find an actual real street dance, you know, um, so I was facing you was like, I think it was my second ever battle, and we came up against you guys, and it was a good battle, but you guys definitely beat us, you know? Um, shit, man, I'm getting wrecked. Uh, <laughs> um, that's it. I gotta do some sort of mega comeback now. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, after getting beat by you guys, I was like, right, I don't need this, you know, I need to get better, and that's when I started um, developing styles that I kind of connected with, that's where I started doing crumping and stuff like that. Um, so, you guys as a crew was helping a lot of other people as well, even though you probably didn't know it. Um, For sure, I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, it goes back to the same way I feel about you know getting back and giving. Yeah, I love that man. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but so jump off, you guys, you won, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we won jump off. Yeah. Um, was, it, was that a ten grand cash prize? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, that's like uh, that's huge. Um, you guys did it for a few years, and you used uh, a lot of different crews as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sort of just uh, used to school. Yeah. School. It was nice because we had some amazing dancers and they were young, bro. And like, don't get me wrong, jump off event is like an over 18 again and stuff like that. And you used to have kids yeah. there, but it was nice to be able to show some highlights for them and stuff like that. For sure. Like, shout out to Mandela, stuff like that. Little Jake. Like, all them guys, they, they were young, but they, they were talented, man. And then even today, you have like little Peanut, they, my little protege, like, I love <laughs> Absolutely. I love, to, I love to hold a candle. I feel we all hold a candle, you know? So we all have our life to give to that person in that tunnel. Yeah. Right, Absolutely. Um, I mean, do you think Jump Off will come back? I mean, I'd love if it would. <laughs> I think a lot of people would love it, man. Because now, like, everyone's a bit older and that now. Jump Off was a club. I think everyone would, yeah. I think that would bang you, but... But I think we'd have much more, uh, much more better battle now as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's something like that, bro. There must be. I just don't know if you're No, I don't. <laughs> so what about your class at the moment? Because you're still uh, teaching now, yeah? No, recently, no. I haven't, I haven't like, talked for a while. When was the last time you taught? Uh, I've, obviously, I was teaching at Future and stuff like that, and we was training a lot, but it was more on the training side of things. But like, I feel that, because obviously I went quiet a lot, I feel like I ghosted for a very long time. Yeah. In the battle scene and stuff like that. It's just like, I was just training and giving back and stuff like that. But I feel like, that's why I'm excited for the whole virus and that to die down, because 
very tight if you get back out there and just show, you know, show what I've been burying really. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to get motivated by this as well. Ah, for sure. And that excites me because it's like, you know, everyone is going to be on the level of hunger. It's not going, you're not going to see no drop back. People, you know, just lagging around. Round one. 100% man. Um, right, come here. Yeah, facing the ground. <laughs> you be a jump of all those years ago. I can't not get one win against you now. Yeah, facing the ground. Shit. She's just so quick, man. Right. Alright. We got this. We got this. Let's come back. Told you, I'll fight that character, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm excited about these questions. <laughs> Just let me um try and get past this round. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll make it quick. Not a chance. Come on! Man, you kick my ass. I tell you, if this was Tekken and I had Brian, it'd be a different story. I'd be fucking <laughs> you invited me to Street Fighter. <laughs> it's not cross platform. Unfortunately, I'm a PC player. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, when was the last time you um, actually battled? Because I know you did a showcase a while back, didn't you? We were shortly back. Wow. Um. <laughs> you still there, bro? Bro, I'm very close to raging. I'm just keeping it in, keeping it cool, keeping it down. Yo, Stark, if you hear me, I think I've lost you, bro. I'm gonna back on. We're back on. All right, let's do this. Um. <coughs> Sweet. So. Apologies about all that guys. We are back. We're good. My stream's back up and running. Hope you guys are still there. Um Starkey, where was we? Uh I believe you said about was it the jump off stuff? Yeah, we was on the jump off and all that. Um Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any battles still around there like that at the moment. Um uh, yeah. It'd be interesting to find out anyway. No, definitely, because that, that only fun was a big thing. It had more than dance there, you know, people are like rapping and yeah, that stuff like this. They had a twerk battle going on as well. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to mention it. <laughs> so, yeah, it, was, it was a big thing. I, I enjoyed it personally. It was nice. And it gave the different feeling when you were doing it. It was very like, how would you say it was like, um, they had this grimy approach to it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It felt like you was in, like, uh, what was, you know, Stomp the Yard? Yeah! Like, it felt, it honestly sometimes felt like you was in this lab. It, it just felt cool. Um, so what about, we touched on your last battle, that's what we got onto. Last battle you did. Uh, uh yeah, I, think, I believe it was with, um, I had 2 v 2 experimental battle I did with I. Nice, how did that go? Uh, yeah, we won the event. It was yeah. Cool. Yeah, because I, I feel like, um, I don't know, I think uh, people know me a lot for, more from my uh, experimental side than hip hop, I believe. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just, um, I don't know, it fascinates me. I love to tell a story, and I find it cool when people actually understand it. I love to be able to feel someone's stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not just all about that and stuff like this, but. I don't know, for me, it's something that feels familiar. Um, motherfucker. Are you still there, bro? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my, my stream's lagging out like crazy at the moment, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, mate, it is. Um,.
I'm not sure if my stream keeps going off or not. What's happening? Yeah. Oh god. We're so close. Yo. Come on. Fight back. Yeah. No. Reverse it. Damn, you got me with that 360 power bomb and shit. It just like um, yeah, it lagged out on my my game a little bit then. That's all. Um, but we're still there. We're still here. We're still running. It's like I said, it's that McDonald's connection I've got right now. You should see when I'm playing Warzone, bro. Sometimes that goes to another level. What we'll do? Um, so obviously that was like a really sick battle for you, which is awesome. Um, what's kind of like the biggest battle you've ever won? Uh, oh well, um, uh, for me, I don't know, the biggest battle I probably won was that, uh, uh, it's probably breaking the bay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think probably breaking the bay. Um. Because, yeah, the judges and stuff. Yeah, probably, I would say, yeah, breaking the bay. It's a strong event as well. Yeah, it was I won the experimental, and then I judged the the year after that. You know, how do you find it as a judge? Um, hey, to be fair, I think I'm. I don't know. When it comes to judging, I don't think I have the greatest mindset when it comes to knowledge in you know all aspects of styles and stuff. I understand my foundations and how to push them and all of this sort of thing, but yeah, when it comes to judging that ability, I feel I'm I'm too much of what I like instead of. Being able to, okay, this person had this, 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 and they clearly won. I think I favoritized in my own way. What you like. Then, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I get that. I get that. Um, For real. How do you find the scene at the moment? Um, to be fair, I can't, I can't really talk about it. I'm not really, I can say I've ghosted for a long time. So yeah. For me, from what I see and from what I hear from, and what, from what I saw in future and all that, it's nice. I like uh, the growth of it of how people are like acknowledging each other and all of this sort of thing. Yeah. I think it's going to go a lot further now because it's going to, I think, it's made, obviously the lockdowns made people hungry and all of that. So I feel like it will push it a lot more and make, I don't know, make people more, a lot more hungry so a lot more events. Because I was thinking of seeing just all style battles. I want to see, like, you know, so just a hip hop battle, just a crump event, you know? I'm yeah. That stuff again. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. People that's hungry in the scene, the more you're going to see them individual battles pop up. In. It's not like favoritism and all that, but it's like, uh, as me as a hip hop dancer, if I want to go into that environment, I don't want to go into an all style battle. I want to go to a crump battle and see how they get down, you know? Yeah, I yeah. Go to a popping battle and see how funky they can get and all like that. And I feel like, yeah, that lacks a lot in the UK now, I feel. Um, I mean, I won't delve into too much about uh, the crump thing, because I've got Crook on on Thursday. But I definitely would love to see more crump, no, crumping battles. Don't get me wrong, the all-style battle can expose the dance bar. Yeah. It can expose them a lot, but sometimes people have put years in their crumps to be like, like you're saying, a crump so why are you like... Not everyone has to be exposed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let them do what they love, so. But don't get me wrong, all style battles are dope. They're dope to a go to, they're dope to like win and all of these sort of things, but. No, I would love to see individual battles again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I don't know, the music, everything will just be. You'll see a lot more hip hop music. You'll see a lot more like popping music. You'll see a lot more funk, you know, electro. Everything will start coming back. The drums. There'll be a lot more like at the event. Yeah, yeah, for sure. DJs will have a lot more fun as well, man. Instead of having to like, you know. What's some events are a bit more with their music? What's up, Cozy G? How are you, man? This is probably the first time you've heard Starkey's wonderful voice. No, I told him before when he sent me that piece. I'm not him what's up. Um. Yeah, no, I'm actually really with you, bro, on that. 
Um, I would love to see it more as well. Um, so I know, like you know, you don't do that much uh, breaking anymore, breaking battles. Um, you just whooped me that round, by the way. But what's your thoughts on breaking Olympics? Breaking being the Olympics. I love it. It gives them another outlet. Because like, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I've been dancing for a long time now, and if you're not, I never really pushed myself in the commercial side of things and all of that. So the, the money was lacking. Yeah. So, like, for them to get another outlet and be able to become like B boy Olympic champion or B girl Olympic champion and be able to get a better wage for their family and stuff like that to fund. Maybe into their school to, you know, you know, develop the generation. Yeah, I man, I think that's a big thing. It's hard, I know it's harder to approach it with the other styles because it's less athletic, but yeah, especially with big people and stuff like that, I think that's great. Dude. Yeah. It's awesome, honestly. Yeah, no, I think it's a big step as well. No, for real, 100%. Um, like, people like Renegade and that, like, you have to shout out to them and give them their respects, man. They did what they did and... Yeah, they're like, working hard, bro. Yeah, man, you have to respect that. Um, so, we touched on it very briefly a minute ago. Um, obviously, you was involved in UDO crews and stuff like that. What's up, Green Buster? How are you, man? Um, obviously, you were involved with the um, UDO scene as well. You did, you like Masters did, uh, you did crew events there as well. Um, when was the last time you hit up one of those events? And we yeah. Went back and forth when we was helping a school called uh, ZDC uh, of a lovely lady called Spacey. Uh, she was amazing, and like we was just helping them, giving them like some of our knowledge with the way we do, you know, like, even character-based stuff. Yeah. So, like, it was nice to give them that, and then we won actually a uh, world with them. Meet with uh, it was more Lisa's choreo. Shout out to Lisa. The choreo was so dope, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they they won the UDL. That was the last UDL event we did too. So I was like, sort of. I was a oh, choreographer yeah. slash dance for that one. Like, I danced in it as well. Yeah. But yeah, man, that, that was the last time, yeah. I mean... That must have been about uh, eight, two years ago. I might be wrong for a second. I'll say about that. So what's, what's, what's your like personal views on UDO? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Dude, don't get me wrong. But when I was going UDO with Kaiser and that, I was just hungry. I just wanted to like... Dance all the time I went to be like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck this guy up, I wanna like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. This guy, what up, man? I remember like one event I went to in the past that like, it was the very first time I met a renegade face to face. I'll never forget what he said to me, it's like we finally meet Mr. Bosch. And I was like, uh, <laughs> and that was making me like, yeah man, like I'm gonna go here, age and get whatever. I know I had a big buzz of just dancing dude. I love to dance and if I can see someone else smiling when they're smiling, like, like when well, I'm dancing, I, I don't know, I like that. Yeah, man, I get that. Um, I mean, like, for me, like, when I used to go with the boys and stuff like that, because we had, like, a, the older guy crew, you know, and, um, you know, it, it was really good instruction. Like, like I said before, like, when we first came into the scene, I was like, right, I need to get hungry and really get my foundations down a lot more. You know, after we lost you guys. Um, it was kind of a real good step because they did do battles there for people that wasn't um, Like if I was to go to an all battle, I'd probably go up against someone and get absolutely smoked again And I'd probably knock my confidence quite heavily um, So it was, it was a good way to kind of get styles out there and like Still battle people and stuff like that and do, Like you said do stuff with the crew like I had hype times on stage um, There's always been like the worry that they're, cut, they're killing the art form and stuff like that, you know? Um, but I mean, if it's... Hello. Did I did I just wreck you? Did I get you? Hello. Did I get you that Shaiyukin? Yeah, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, because you turn up to a... Uh, I remember we was in Blackpool. And we, we had like Brooke and that judging us. And it was really good. Um, and that was really strong for us because getting his feedback and stuff like that helps us realize where we can go with the scene if that makes sense um, so I'm going to be chatting a little bit of shit because I'm on mad concentration mode right now because I'm so close to meeting you um, 
Oh, I would fucking see it, wouldn't I? Can you see how like, I'm talking faster and just chatting bare shit? Just trying to like... I mean, do you remember that, um... That Yu-Gi-Oh! British Champs that we went to? Um... And... Like, you was there. Uh, Jack Saunders. Um... Kieran Warner was there. Jay Kalias was there. Do you remember that that championships? I think I did, yeah. Um, you've battled Cheku in the final. Oh, the breaking. Yeah, man. Man, yeah, no one's in like the hip hop final and the other final. Yeah, I remember this. Like, this was fresh. That that was a really good event. I had really good judges there. Um, yeah, it's really well, that. and it felt like when it was there, you had the kind of like characters That's to cool. make it feel like a real event as well. Yeah, uh, I think. This shout out to him though, he's a real big boy. Like, I, I know <laughs> fundamentals of breaking, but I can't. Like, he'll know what I'm talking about when I say I'm not a real big boy. He, he's a real big boy. Yeah, yeah, well, I've, like, I've been to a lot of battles with Sheku. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did his thing, man. Yeah, he's come a long way as well, since battling you guys as well. You know? Dude, he, he, I always look at everyone, man. Like, I feel the progression. I love that. It really it pushes you for your own, like, dance. Like, it's nice to see them like, exploring all that crap beard and that. It's, it's nice to see, <laughs> you know, see people just throwing. Yeah. Uh, okay, we got a question. Greenbuster said, What characters are you into on this game right now? Oh, for me, uh, I'm mostly trolling, so yeah, I play Karen and the crew mom. I'm not the greatest player. I prefer playing, but yeah, Karen, this girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so quick, man. Uh, Greenbus, this is my first time playing properly, bro. So I'm still getting used to it. So I, if you ask me, it'd be like Ryu again for sure. Um, or Honda. I can't play as Honda yet. It's upsetting me. Yeah, it's not Honda. But I have to unlock him, right? Oh, you want to see Honda? Okay. <laughs> You're going to whoop me with Honda? Yeah. Yeah, Z Zangief's a beast as well, man. For sure. Um... Starkey's been wrecking me with him. Go, go on, Cammy. Oh, wow. You're laggy, man. <laughs> have I got laggy, have I? <laughs> it's fine on my screen. <laughs> um. Right, come on, Cammy. I've got to make a concentration mode again. I was probably doing that when I was chatting shit. <laughs> you stun me and everything. Yeah, snap a neck. Damn. So, next question. Um, what kind of dancers inspires you? A dancers inspire me? Yeah, man. Do you ever like stick on YouTube and watch someone and go like... Dude, I always like... For me, it's hard to like pinpoint like individuals. Like, I can't do it. But for me, the thing people like... That's why I love like Instagram stuff like that. Yeah. You can just see someone move and it just, it's like, well, that's art, you know? And it blows you away and inspires you to like do your own thing. To do your own canvas and that. Like. Yeah. But, yeah, they're definitely like, I don't know, Evian, Ice, Leeson, people like this, they really do inspire me, at least, people like this, their, their work rate and their, their how they push and all of this stuff is very inspiring, um, it's very, I, I love that. Do you know what's really nice as well, everybody who I've uh, spoken to so far, I say to them like, who inspires you as a dancer, like, who's your favourite dancer since the year and I, and everybody's like, mentioning their crew straight away. I do this, they you know? be fake and say people that I hardly talk to or I'm hardly around, you know. Don't get me wrong, the OGs, so like, I love them and they know I respect them. I broke all of these people like that. To me, yeah. the OGs in my eyes, because I was like, like a you in the dance scene at that time, you know? Yeah, it's just... And it's just like, yeah, just for me, these people are who I'm around. I saw, like, in my, the way I see it and the way I see it in, like, me, Lisa, I said that. We come from like rags to riches, not that we are rich and we are like, big pucks, but we have this different hunger as well. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's make or break, you know? It's like this or nothing. We don't have nothing else, 
you know. Yeah, I respect but, that. Uh, not, I'm not like speaking for everyone, but like from my point of view, it's like that's the hunger they had. They they strive for that. Yeah, that that yeah. inspires me. It's like yo, it's like the whole secret and the universe. You know that motivated thinking. I don't know. They 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 ooze of it. I love that. I really do. It inspires me. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, what about the youth of the moment? Ah, they're killers, bro. Come on. Yeah. Hello. Mate. There's no one. I can't. Like, even this, like, I'll shout out again, but Lil Peanut, man. She's disgusting. Like, Damari, all these people, Tristan. Like, the, the youngsters are the... Yeah, they, they're inspiring in their own way, man. That is this. Like, I might be way off of this. Uh, I mentioned the V-Boys the other day, like... Um, back when you look at younger dancers ages ago, there wasn't that like many big names, but now, like in this day and age, there's just so many. Um, I think it's how the internet's evolved, though, if I'm honest, brother. That's, uh, do you know what they said the exact same thing? There's so many ways to like watch people and get inspired. Exactly. Like, I was getting stuff off like, I can't, what's the first guy I was watching on YouTube? It was like some South African dude, I think. He was just teaching like waves and stuff like that. I don't even think it's like existent anymore. No. But I didn't know nothing, you know what I mean? Like everything would give me a buzz, like finding out about Just the Boo or finding out about B Boy Champs or finding out about this. Like there was a big thing we used to go to at Trocadero called Throwdown. Yeah. Like, even, uh, and that's when I first started as well. Going to a club and watching it all happen there and have the host like D Lo and stuff like that. It was like, yo man, this is like a big thing. And then, even that the, the whole environment and the aura of it. It's a, it's, I love that man. I think it drives a lot. Yeah, no. Um, and it's good as well because it's it's. Come on, ah, um, it's good to have as well. Uh, I wish I had it when I was younger, you know, just more access to seeing stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, because like I think the last battle I had, man, was like probably two years ago. Yeah, man, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, going back to the UDO thing, that's what I was going to touch up on the UDO scene. Like, um, I'm like, I've got the only my uh, girl crew now, um, and I've gone down the teaching road with them, um, choreographing for them and stuff, and it's really changed from how we used to do it. You know. Um, I've had this one too much, but in the bad way, um, like the choreography, uh, the the judging concept of it all. Um, Matt, I mean, like we went to a British Champs, and I think it, the jam we went to before, we had like um, Brooke and Dixon and someone else judging us, and we came first. Mm -hmm. We did the same set of British Champs, and we came like a fourth place. But the, the scores were way lower, and you kind of go like, well, we pushed pure foundation in our sets, that's all we did. Um, oh, was the execution the same? What's that? Was the execution the same? Like, did you execute the same way as you did in both events? Yeah, if not even better. Um, yeah. yeah. But I think it was the, the people judging us. Because um, we did like, literally everything was pure, like, foundation. We had Sheck who did our breaking set for us, um, Jack did our popping set. Um, and it was really decent, and uh, we didn't have the foundation judges when we went to British Champs. And that thing really affected, and that's why we stopped doing it as a crew. Because we were just like, how, how can it be this, like, uneven? Like, if, you, if you're going to be doing foundation, you're set, you need to have people who's going to judge foundation. Um, and, yeah, I'm still, like, working that with my girls at the moment, trying to figure out what the judges like and stuff like that. That's why I think that in its own is uh, a mind game of itself. That's why I love battling. Yeah. Because I think, like, understanding your judges and knowing what they like. I know it's about showing you and what you do and all of these sort of things, but there's always this essence that you can bring of, like, I don't know. It's not cheating, but if someone so and so, like, prefers this way of dancing, you can adapt to that element and still bring you what well, you are going to use this to win, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, even that, I think, is fun. To understand your judges, understand what they like. 
Like, if you have someone that adores foundation and stuff like that, then yo, show them you have a good, respectful understanding of the foundation, but show them you as well, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what we always try to push on, is just PR foundation as much as we can. Um, yeah. And try and bring the the battle scene into a competition, you know? But not everybody will get that, and it's cool, I understand that. Um, so, what's next a step for you after lockdown? Obviously, you say you're hungry, ready to go for uh, anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do this like, online battle stuff. It's good, I love it, I like watching it and stuff, but no, I'm not. So, for me, it's when everything starts to get back to normal, I wanted to show my face a lot more. Yeah. And as much as I can. I just want to explore, see people. It's just that type of thing, man. I want to win. I want to lie to you. I want to go out there and win shit, bro. Yeah, mate, I want to start getting back into battle again. It's been too long. Like, I'm 30 next week, and... You know, I want to be better. I want to do stuff I haven't done before. I'm fed up getting like... Obviously I won't go too much because it's like... I was going to go with Crook, but every time I went to a battle I was getting like... The the winner straight away in the first round. <laughs> and it was a bit like... Demoralizing for me. Uh, when it came to it. Go on Zangief. Even that on his own, you can take that and be like... Every time, how far did you get? What was your approach, the mindset? Big yeah, absolutely. Like, what people don't realize, especially the younger generation, is that, um, yo, you just beat me. I know, I'm, I'm not letting me think yourself, think about it, bro. I'm a proper pressure myself, boys. No, nah, the, the, the young generation don't respect the loss. Like, a loss can do a big thing. Why did I lose? What can I work on? You know? Yeah. Da, 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 da. And, like, I feel like people are scared to show new things, man. They're scared to, like, take risks in their dance, and that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is packaged. Um, for real. I'm so by the way, you're not winning this round. Mate, I know. <laughs> you keep getting tripping me up. Yo, big attacks. I'm freezing. Come here. <laughs> Yo, body slam. No, nah. come here, bitch. No. No, nah, come on. That's so close. <laughs> I try to press you and shit. A power spam you're dead. So, okay. from when you started, um, what would you advice would you give to people now who is looking to go down the same route, want to get into dance? You know, where would you tell them to go? How would you tell them to start it? Well, for me, like, when I, like I said, I went Kaiser, but a good solid year of my first start, like, dancing was me and my room. Yeah. Me just developing. Okay, I weren't developing foundation because I didn't know what the fuck it was. I didn't, I didn't know it existed. I didn't know what was going down. I just moved. But yeah. I appreciate that so much because I didn't, I didn't tick boxes. I was just enjoying myself, and I think that really helped my character as well. Yeah, I used to pull fucked up faces and some would laugh and all like that, but I was feeling my shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know, it really helped me develop. And then when it comes to learning the foundation, and that actually found me easier to apply it. So I feel like a lot of people struggle to apply to a foundation. Yeah. They understand the steps, they understand the foundation, they, they can do 500 million steps within that one move, but they don't just understand, I don't know, be them on you. Like, yeah. Um, be directional, I don't know, like, yeah, man. So what, what about the rest of Kazar? Where are they all now? now? What are they doing themselves? Like, everyone's scared, bro. Like, how I'm fighting. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, no, everyone is doing big things. Obviously, Leeson is doing his music. He's doing Noesis. Like, shout out to Noesis. I know. They all fight they were as well. Everyone is doing a lot of stuff abroad. And like, Kieran's doing his thing. He do like the TikTok and that. He's got massive on TikTok. Yeah, uh, massive, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's a big thing now, this TikTok. Yeah, man. I've, he's done really well. His direction he's done is just really fantastic. Um, yeah. He's going on fire. 
But I think we all knew that was kind of going to happen. There was a uh, first time, even with battling him, you know it was going to be gassed. That I gave him bear moves, bro. He needs to start shouting me out, bro. Yeah. I used to be like, yo. But no, man. No, definitely. Everyone is doing their thing. And like pushing and striving. So even that is it's big on its own thing. Yeah, man, for sure. Um, right. We're going to end it there. Is there anything else you want to say? No, just thank you for having me, bro. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Fun, thank you, man. It's been... Well, we've known each other a long time now. Probably pushing like six, seven years now. Yeah. Since we last battled, so... It's been time. Yeah, for sure. Um, but... Yeah, no, thank you for coming on and hanging out and letting everybody get to know you a bit better and know where you came from and stuff. It's really appreciated. I've uh, obviously respected you and Kazar for a long time, so it's really nice to have this chat. Well, I respect that, man. Thank you so much for having me. Any time. Right, guys, this is the end of episode two. Episode three is tomorrow. We have LB. Uh, we're going to be playing some Warzone. Uh, Sheku's going to be with us as well, so it's going to be a real good night. And then on Thursday, we've got Crook. So it's going to be a heavy week, so make sure you come back for that. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Make sure to follow, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And we will catch you all later. And have a good night.